all right so in this video uh, we will try and no we will not try we will write a matrix as a product of elementary matrices right so let's say we have been given a matrix a now um, we have been doing this that we apply some elementary row operations e1 e2 e3 and we convert this into an identity matrix right for example say if i have this two cross two matrix one zero one and one so i can apply an elementary row operation which goes that r2 changes to r2 minus r1 so what this gives me is this right so i got an identity matrix so this was an elementary row operation and now with every elementary row operation there is associated a matrix e1 e2 e3 it can be any en so on it can be en and we will have an en right so there can be n number of elementary row operations which convert a given matrix into an identity matrix and all these elementary row operations will give us a set of elementary matrices which are nothing but the same operation like mm, it is the same operation applied on applied on the same operation applied on an identity matrix the same operation applied on the identity matrix to get this similarly the same operation applied on the identity matrix to get this and if it is confusing then don't worry we will just we will just solve it we will figure it out with an example right but first okay yeah what i was saying is that so if i multiply this with all these say i have three for the sake of it i'll take three matrices okay so what i do is that when i multiply my matrix given matrix a with these three matrices first with e1 then with e2 and then with e3 then i'll get my identity matrix right so now the video is about or the, the thing is about expressing an elementary expressing a matrix as a product of elementary matrices right so just just imagine what if what if i multiply both sides by e3 inverse and here also e3 inverse okay i'll write this i a little bit far So I write I here and see I multiplied by E3 inverse on both sides. Then this will become identity. Then again, I'll multiply by E2 inverse both sides. Okay. And now this will be identity. And then again, what I will do is I will multiply at both sides by E1 inverse okay so what this will do is it will give me on this side just the matrix a because this will be identity 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 right so i'll be left with a and on this side i'll be left with e1 inverse e2 inverse e3 inverse into i and anything multiplied by an identity matrix as itself so what we achieved is we wrote a given matrix in the form of the product of elementary matrices okay enough of the journal info let's begin with an example right so let's say let's say we have been given this matrix a which is mm, okay let's take a three cross three matrix 
and the video will be a little bit longer but it will help okay so let me copy this example eight seven yeah so this is my matrix my three cross three matrix okay now what i do is that yeah i'll apply an operation on this right and i will simultaneously not reverse i should say inverse i'll simultaneously note down my inverse operation okay you will see just in a moment what i'm trying to do right so let's begin what i will do first is uh, i'll convert this 3 into 0 right so my operation will be my first operation is that r3 changes to r3 minus 3 r1 right and my inverse operation will be even inverse will be r3 changes to r3 plus 3 r1 okay it is as simple as it sounds here i i subtracted three times r1 from r3 so inverse will be i add three times r1 to r3 okay and how we will avoid complexity in this is that we will like if we are operating on the third row then we will not touch we will not apply any operation on the third row or, no, or not the operation like we will not multiply it by any scalar we will not subtract it or anything like okay maybe i will be able to show show you in in an example right so let's apply this first operation first right uh, so what i get is i'll get one two zero zero one three and then three times negative three zero eight times negative six sorry eight minus three to the six so eight minus six is two and seven minus three times zero is seven right so this is my mm, this is the next step i won't call it a matrix i mean yeah this is the next step so we are actually converting it into an identity matrix right so now what i'll do is i'll change this to convert this two into zero so my second operation should be r3 changes to r3 minus 2 r2 right so what will be the inverse operation e2 inverse will be r3 changes to r3 plus 2 r2 simple right again i subtracted twice of r2 i'll add twice of r2 as the inverse right so what we get here is what we get here is 1 2 0 0 1 3 and 0 minus 2 times 0 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0 and 7 minus 3 times 2 which is 7 minus 6 which is 1 okay good for me i got an identity here oh sorry a 1 here right so next step is converting these two into zeros right so i'll need two more operations let's see let's see okay so e3 should be uh, yeah let's take r4 sorry r3 so r3 changes to no now see my bad it's not r3 r2 r2 changes to now yeah this is what i was trying to say earlier that i can also write r2 by 3 minus r3 it will still give me a zero at this position 
although it will mess up this but it will still give me a zero here but this is what I'm trying to avoid if I'm operating on the second row I will try not to touch the second row I will keep it intact and I will add subtract whatever I want to do in that row okay so what I should actually do is R2 minus 3 times R3. Yep. So the inverse of this will be R2 changes to R2 plus 3 times R3. Right? We will get to these inverses later. Okay. So what this becomes is now 1, 2, 0. Now R2 minus 3 R3. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 0. 3 times minus 3 times 1. Sorry, 3 minus. Yeah. This is 0. And we get 0, 0, 1. Okay. I might have said something. I did not mean times. And don't ignore it. Just. I'm making a video after a few days, so I'm rusty. Okay, so what I will do now is that I have to yeah, get rid of this too. So I have to operate on row 1. So I will not touch row 1. Row 1. And I will subtract 2 times row 2. Right. So the inverse of this will be R1 changes to R1 plus 2R2. Right. And this will give me my identity matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Right? Yeah, so now we need to find. Now here is the catch. Now we need to find our matrices which are matrices inverse of these row operations oh, equivalent to these row operations e4 inverse e3 inverse e2 inverse e1 inverse elementary matrices corresponding to these right so let's begin mm -hmm. let me make space here or can i just yeah i can I messed up. I'm sorry. Just give me a moment. This sounds easier. Okay, not gonna happen. I just cut this. I'm really sorry. Right. Yeah, great. So, okay, back to the pen. Sorry for this. But yeah, I'm using a new stylus actually. So, let's get back to the point. I have to find elementary matrices corresponding to these. Okay, for this, I just make my identity matrix for a reference. It gets less, less confusing this way. Right. So observe now. What I have to do is to find E4 inverse, I have to apply this operation to the identity matrix. Let's do this. Okay. R1 changes to R1 plus 2 R2. So 1 plus 2 times 0 is 1. 0 plus 2 times 1 is 2. And this is 0. And rest remains the same okay so this is my e4 inverse the elementary matrix corresponding to this operation right 
now to find the to find e3 inverse i have nothing to do with this this matrix i have nothing to do with this okay i will apply this operation on my identity matrix all right so let's do this e3 shall give me okay it corresponds to r2 so i write r1 as it is like that yeah 100 then r2 changes to r2 plus 3 r3 0 plus 3 times 0 is 0 1 plus 3 times 0 is 1 1 oh 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3 0 0 1 i hope you know this already right yeah, so this is my E3 inverse. Let's let's write down the E2 inverse here. E2 inverse shall be R3. So R1 can be written as such. R2 shall should be written as such because I'm just working on R3 here, right? So R3 is plus two times R2, 0, 2, 1 right and similarly my e1 inverse should be now in this operation i'm also touching r3 so i will write r1 and r2 as intact from my identity matrix and i will work on r3 again the this row has nothing to do with this matrix or any of the previous matrices. This is an independent operation on the identity matrix, right? So don't get confused in this. I'm saying because I was confused at, at a point, okay? So yeah, R3, now this is the operation, R3 plus three R1. So zero plus three times one is three and 0 and 1. So this is my E1 inverse, right? So yeah, I got my answer. This is how I will express my matrix A as E1 inverse, E2 inverse, E3 inverse, and E4 inverse. Remember, this order matters, right? because see how we got to this we multiplied this side by the inverses so left multiplication was first and e3 inverse right so this order matters we cannot change this order right and now yeah you can shall i try to squeeze this here okay let's do this one zero 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 one zero zero two one then my e2 inverse is wait did i write okay let's leave it up to you right because i already did a mistake okay so this is how you convert a matrix into a product of elementary matrices and you should try and solve this multiply these then you get a product then you multiply it with this then you get a new matrix and you multiply it with this and you check whether you are getting a or not right and sorry for some hiccups in this video i am making a video after a long time and i am using a new stylus which seems to be helpful yeah my handwriting is better anyway okay yeah, if you have any doubts still, um, just ask them in the comment section, right?